Okay, hope everybody's doing well. I decided to do my Dollar Tree DVD uh, review and haul. And I will say that when I went to the Dollar Tree locally, I didn't have any hopes that any movies were going to be there. I just went for some other random thing like toothpaste. And you know that when you go to the Dollar Tree, expect the unexpected. So I went there and lo and behold, the deal of the week was books. I don't see books as being the deal of the week very, very often. Um, but sure enough, right in the front there were a mountain of books. And behind them there is a DVD shelf that's usually very, very picked over. It's in a very, very strange spot of the store. And it makes it very hard to look because, you know, the register is looking. You're looking, or the register is looking right at you. And all the things are on shelves, but then they're too deep, etc. And then you have to reach the floor where there's not very much room because you're surrounded by unopened boxes. So let's just get in what I found. And I will say it's nothing more than miraculous I've found anything. And one of the reasons I say it's... Uh, I found things because it looked like they mixed them up with the old movies and so nobody else had looked. So, picked them up on Friday and the first thing I saw was Crazy Rich Asians. They had two copies of that. I've already seen that but I figured, you know what, yeah, just grab it. If I don't know it, do anything with it, I might give that away, trade it, or do something with that one there. But I've already seen that one. Uh, one of the titles I really, really wanted to pick up here was this uh, Doctor Who, The Waters of Mars. I do not have that one. Creepy story, as a lot of them are. And it turns out that Lindsay Duncan and David Tennant are in this. And I went through my uh, card collection, and I have a Doctor Who, Lindsay Duncan uh, autograph here uh, to, signed to me, which I sent to the UK. Alien Attacks card. I did not know who Lindsay Duncan was, but she was one of the main cast members in that particular uh, episode, so that's really pretty cool. It's kind of dark there, but it's been autographed by her, sent via the UK many years ago. Uh, then I found this one here, which a lot of people have been grabbing, and I'm sure other people will because Matthew McConaughey in The Beach Bum. No idea. It's probably a vulgar R-rated comedy, but uh, Matthew McConaughey, Snoop Dogg, Isla Fisher, Jimmy Buffett, Zac Efron, and Martin Lawrence. So that's who's in that one. Nothing else needs to be said about that one. It's on DVD. Um, then the next one is the only other DVD I picked up. It's very strange because it's usually the reverse for me. Um, but I picked up Anna Karenina uh, starring uh, Helen McCrory, Kevin McKidd, and Stephen Delane. And that is a WGBH Boston uh, Masterpiece Theater DVD. That's very, very unusual to see that there. So I had to have that one because I kind of collect PBS movies um, and documentaries. So that's really neat to have that one. Then the rest of them, some of them are blind buys and some of them are ones that have, were heavily promoted on TV and the internet. And these are two Cirque du Soleil titles. I'm not super familiar with Cirque du Soleil, so they're kind of blind buys. Uh, Corteo, um, so that's what that one is. Unfortunately, I did not realize a jewel case, uh, the Blu-ray case is smashed. I mean, really um, busted. So if I find one I'm not keeping, I'm going to uh, put that in this case if I choose to keep this one here. And then we have Midnight Sun. It's another Cirque du Soleil title. Festival of Jazz or something like that. Uh, what does it say here? I cannot read if that's all in... Oh, the Montreal International Jazz Festival. So it's also in French. Um, not really... I think it's in French. Uh, oh, no, no. It's in Spanish. That's weird. It's in Spanish. That's weird. Montreal is in Canada, and they did it in Fr um, Spanish, I believe. Because de una sola noche. Um, that's a Spanish, I believe. So there's that one there. And then the next two here, I thought I had one more, but I guess maybe I don't here. Uh, this is Dwayne Johnson and Rampage. And, of course, it's a rock movie. And there were other rock movies, but I left them. I just finished watching San Andreas uh, from a previous haul. It was okay. Rampage is probably going to be very similar to that. And again, I'm not sure why I grabbed it, but it was like one of those things. You just grab the interesting titles first, and then you forget you leave them. It might be a good movie. I'm not really sure. It's PG-13, as most rock movies are. Everything else was pretty much R-rated and probably filled with all kinds of family.
family unfriendly language and that's one of the things if you're looking for PG type movies um, the Dollar Tree is maybe not always the best place to find them unless they're really super cheesy those uh, uh, movies from overseas with Viva titles or whatever that are uh, dubbed but I found Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams in Game Night and a lot of people were looking for that one pretty much all these titles people were looking for except for maybe the Cirque du Soleil titles and just a really fun time finding actually some movies I'm not gonna go on a tear um, not because I'm broke or poor I just just I'm kind of um one of those I'm I'm poor with space I don't have a lot of space for movies and I have a lot of things I haven't watched yet and I'm kinda of spoiled because I live near a store that has VCR tapes for 50 cents and so I have lots of those yet to watch but check your Dollar Trees because there's some high quality Blu-rays people are finding even better stuff than I found and I may have missed stuff because they were all crammed on one shelf and you just couldn't see everything you just really couldn't it's just a really poor place for those movies so I hope you got some sense of what you can find at Dollar Tree um, check it out because like I said a lot of these things in the past are not always worth a twenty dollar twenty five but many of these are and it's half the price of my goodwill by a lot and thank you for watching